Vaccine carriers are smaller and easier to carry than cold boxes, so they are often used for outreach sessions. In order to protect the vaccines, it is important to know how to pack a vaccine carrier, use it during an immunization session, and keep it in good working order. Let us start with packing a vaccine carrier. The first step is to prepare the water packs. Depending on the vaccines and the length and ambient temperature of your journey, you may need to prepare frozen ice packs, conditioned ice packs, cool water packs, or warm water packs. Just remember that frozen ice packs may damage freeze-sensitive vaccines and diluents. Vaccine carriers typically hold four water packs. If you are not sure which packs to use, look inside the lid of the carrier. Next, arrange the prepared water packs in the vaccine carrier exactly as shown in the manufacturer's instructions on the inside of the lid. Now, put the vaccines and diluents in the middle of the vaccine carrier. If needed, put them in a plastic bag to protect them from damage if there is condensation. If conditioned ice packs are used, put an electronic freeze indicator with the vaccines. Next, place the foam pad in the top of the vaccine carrier. Be sure to use the foam pad supplied with the vaccine carrier to make sure it fits correctly inside and allows the lid to close. Finally, close the vaccine carrier lid tightly. At the immunization session, you will rely on the vaccine carrier to keep vaccines and diluents at the right temperatures. That includes open vials, and especially vials that do not contain preservative, whether lyophilized or liquid. Here are some key things to remember when using a carrier during a session. Do not remove the water packs from the vaccine carrier. Keep the foam pad over the top of the carrier to serve as a temporary lid. Insert all open vials in the slits of the foam pad. Keep the hard lid closed tightly whenever possible. Keep the vaccine carrier in the shade. Do not drop or sit on the carrier. After each session, remember to maintain your vaccine carrier so that it stays in good shape for the next time. Clean and dry the vaccine carrier. Keep the lid propped open. Keep the vaccine carrier in a protected, covered area. If your vaccine carrier has a small crack, cover it with adhesive tape. Make sure the vaccine carrier lid closes securely. You should now know how to pack, use, and maintain your vaccine carrier.